Hi everyone. Well, I'm at the uh, O'Connor Art Gallery here in Chilliwack, and uh, with me is Suzanne Ros Rostrum. Rostrum, yes. Yes, um, artist. Um, he's been on the show before, but it wasn't an in-person one. It was on camera. So. Yes, it was nice to be with you and meet you in person. Yeah, yeah thank person. you. Nice. It did all feel the same. Yeah. So um, now, as you can see, some of his work is uh, behind us, which is really beautiful. Um, beautiful colors and and um, and uh, structures and shapes. Yes, uh, I guess, I mean, the, the theme of the show is blazing colors. And so, I mean, it's all about colors. <laughs> right. Uh, I, uh, some years ago, I guess I, you could say I got a sort of an epiphany, which says uh, 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 that, uh, I mean, first of all, color is important for me. Um, color gives temperature, heat, warmth, you know, or, yeah. or cold or cool. Uh, it uh, it uh, expresses emotion. You can have the expression of emotion, a whole series of things about color. But the epiphany was that a painting doesn't necessarily uh, have to have a nameable, let's say, excitable object or recognizable okay. subject matter, let's say, mm -hmm. in it to 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 appeal. Right. Uh, um, and my goal actually is to engage and uh, appeal and maybe motivate people to uh, to to love art you know if yes. they, as 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 i do um, hopefully you know my my colorful paintings will will do that uh, but the epiphany was that that you don't really need to have a, a subject matter however right color just run running color by itself and letting it flow and do its own thing that's some people do that, and they get wonderful results by doing that. Right. The way I try to do it is have some kind of form or shape to put the color in. Uh, and I was just talking to a colleague who walked in just a few moments ago uh, about this, and uh, there is a point that, let's say if you're painting the sky, it's blue, right? right. Most of the time, right. sometimes yes. it is. <laughs> or you're painting a person, the person maybe has blonde hair, you put blonde in it, you know. So you're sort of, uh, the subject matter uh, often, or grass is green and so on. Mm -hmm. um, the subject matter often imposes what colors you use on it. Right. Okay. If, you, if you're going to become, you know, uh, abstract or become a bit more ser serialistic, you move away, maybe you could make the grass blue, you know. Right. There is blue grass, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the point there being that um, when you um, uh, when you free yourself from the subject matter, you can then start playing with colors in a different way okay. and combine them, contrast, balance, harmony, and so on. Mm -hmm. But still have some structure. This is my thing: is I still like to have balance and structure in it, okay. and then add the color into it. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, just but by, by the way. What, um, Today, your work is exhibited today, which is um, the 2nd of July, yes. until when? Until August 36th. Uh, and what hours, if you want to come? The hours are from 5, uh, sorry, <laughs> from 12 to 5 every mm -hmm. day. There are some evening shows in the theaters here, so we're going to open for, I think, uh, an hour or so before nice. the, the theater shows, uh, so people can check out the schedule of the O'Connor Group. Okay. Art gallery on online, but also the schedule of the theaters as well in, in the Chilliwack Cultural Center. Right. Um, what uh, on, one thing I want to say yes. is the reception is next Saturday okay. uh, from uh, 1 to 3. Okay. The, the gallery is open at 12, but we made the reception, the opening reception, next Saturday because it's the long weekend and right. the Canada Day and so on. So it's a bit slower, you right. know, and people want to go on vacation and right. so on. So I, I encourage to, everybody to yeah, come. Yeah. Well, yes, week. and I wanted to get this in, the, the dates and the times early. Yes. Because uh, if, if people don't watch the video, the, the interviews, the, through whole, the whole video, video yes. you know? Exactly, yeah. And I just want to encourage everybody, like, look, seeing the picture on, on camera is not the same thing as actually coming here and seeing it in person. There's such a difference, I believe. Anyway. Yeah, and you know, you're absolutely right. There was a gentleman <laughs> who came... Uh, the, yesterday it was closed, but the day before yesterday, he walked in. There is the the, the picture of the actually I pointed there. That's one there. Uh, no, 
yeah, this one. That's the blazing color. It's called blazing colors, and it's the theme picture of the show. Uh, the gentleman who came in yesterday, he went straight to that picture, and he said, "Oh my, that is." A lot brighter and a lot more vivid yes. than it is in the photo. You know, you he saw them in the photos, so yeah. they're absolutely right. There. And, and then, if they get a chance to talk to you too, that's another thing, you know. Uh, this is one of the benefits for me. Yeah, uh, that's what I love. You know, as I like to talk, as you probably <laughs> noticed. Uh, but uh, having an interchange with people and discussing, you know, and, uh, you know, they're kind enough just to give me their good and bad opinions about whatever that helps me go. Right. Yeah. yeah, and whether there are another artist or just somebody who, who appreciates art a bit. Yes. And I just want to say personally, like I've interviewed many, many artists, and, and what I love is they all, they're so different. Yeah. They all, their work is so different, yeah. and you can appreciate the differences. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Whether well, it's modern. I mean, thank God that they're different. Yes, because, absolutely. Uh, otherwise, it would be very boring. Yes. And I mean, I've expressed a point of view about like subject matter. And though, although I do do subject matter art too as well, and the wall behind this one is all about the ocean, and the, and it's all mostly blue. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so now you've been uh, working as an artist for a long time, right? Yeah, I, I learned art from my father uh, and, and my family together. Uh, as, as children, uh, my dad used to put up an easel for each of uh, my siblings, and I have two sisters and a brother, okay. so there was four of us. Right. And uh, what was very nice about that is it kind of... <coughs> I'm a little choking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it brought us together as a family, something that right. we did together. Right. And, and interestingly, as we've grown older and kind of retired and so on, it, it's still bringing us together. Nice. Even though we're in different parts of the world. Right. We live, so we, you know, we uh, exchange emails and, and Facebook and... and uh, Keep in touch, know, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and uh, yeah, um, Skype and so on, yeah. Right. So where are you from originally? I'm originally from Egypt. Okay. Uh, uh, born and raised there. Mm -hmm. I came to Canada when I was 22 years old. Okay. So, uh, what brought you to Canada? Uh, well, push and pull reasons. <laughs> 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 um, it was, you know, uh, it was tough times during the time when I was growing up there, and uh, for various reasons, um, for making a living and so on, sure. you know, and yeah. so on. And I had uh, grow. I had spent a year in California in high school at Santa Clara High School in California, mm -hmm. and that sort of attra attracted me to North America. Mm -hmm. And Canada uh, was, you know, impressions I had of Canada, and I had many friends here in Canada, and so that was a place that uh, that's the pole reason. Okay. Uh, and so yeah. Okay, very good. And then you settled in British Columbia. We set no. We no? Uh, settled in in. First in Toronto, mm -hmm. and then I got a job uh, uh, with Candle Movies and Housing Corporation in Ottawa. Okay. And then uh, I moved from there to doing business consulting, and then I started my own business, and I had a couple of uh, consulting businesses, which I still kind of do Again. on a semi-retired basis. Right. Uh, and that's how I made my living, and being able to afford the family and yeah, grow yeah. up and, and do things. And actually what was a very wonderful thing was the jobs that I had uh, gave me the opportunity to travel all over the world in different nice. places. And I kept an eye open on the art and the type of uh, art that, was, uh, that uh, you know, in the different places of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, uh, um, uh, was an enriching you know, experience to be able to be exposed to that. Right. So all of those years, like through all of that time, were you still painting? Uh, yeah, yeah, as a hobby. Yeah. And on the side, but not as much as I'm doing now. Okay. But uh, well, that uh, retirement gate afforded you the time, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And what the art that you see here is, is things that I've done over maybe the past couple of years, mm -hmm. two or three years, right. most of it. Some of it maybe in the back there, the ones that I was mentioning, the sea and so on, that's a bit older. But I also have a, a new thing, that most new thing, which is called the Chilliwack River. Okay. I don't know the camera we could. We could we'll, go, we'll go around we and could, have a look. We can yes. show, uh, see that. Uh, that's kind of representing something I'm trying, a technique that I'm trying to develop 
Okay. Uh, so looking to the future, yeah, you know, yes. like I have plans just to do it. So the Chilliwack Rivers, because we live here now, right. and we love it here, and nature is... Every, uh, it's there. It's there, it's <laughs> everywhere, whether it's the blue herons or the, yeah. or the eagles or, you know, the cascade eagles, and, et cetera, you know. Yeah, it's rich uh, And that, the mountains, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so it's a whole new opportunity to, to start maybe a new uh, thematic uh, uh, way of, of presenting my art. All right, I'm always interested, you know, I, I, I find it so fascinating, like, what I see on canvas for, for you yeah. as an artist, like what's in your head, and then you get that on canvas. Like, to me, that that is so awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, well, uh, I mean, that's, that's uh, I mean, that's good, uh, a, a good observation, because uh, what happens is, I mean, every artist, as you said, is different. So I'm just talking about the experience that I have. Sure. Is I start, uh, I start with kind of a shapes and forms that I want to see, knowing that I want to color it. Mm -hmm. um, so the shapes and forms usually come quickly. Uh, then you have to select the colors. You have to put okay. Fit, yeah. How okay. They, you know, sometimes I'm uh, feeling harmonious. Okay. Right. Uh, and so the colors are all kind of harmonious and they all blend in them. There's one there called the sunny day back there. I think it's... We will have a look. Yeah, yeah. It is, yeah a sunny day. Uh, so uh, it's all harmonious and the colors are all blend in. Sometimes I'm feeling, you know, uh, energy and so mm -hmm. on. And, and contrast helps bring that energy out right. and the choice of colors like yeah. a red or yeah. a, you know a vivid yellow or vivid green that kind of um, that brings that emotion out right. but I uh, still kind of aim to have some preconceived balance and structure uh, composition in the in the painting right. so that it, it uh, that feels to me a little bit more uh, I can relate to that personally more and, I, and it actually helps me um, uh, play with the colors more. Okay. So. Yeah. So let's take around, take yeah. a look around, and we For can sure. um, we can you can talk about some of your work and yeah. uh, and um, give some details. So okay. you lead the way, and I will follow uh, you. Well, all right. Well, let's look at that. Uh, uh, let's look at that chili river one that I mentioned. Uh, so. This okay. is this is one that uh, I mean I, I, uh, it's it's a bit abstract and surrealistic. It's not you know necessarily very realistic of the river. Uh, so the you know you can see that the colors blend in and so on. And I hope it shows some motion. It certainly does, and and it's certainly still recognizable as yeah. a river. Yes. So yeah. yeah, you can see the motion in it. Yeah. I hope it, I hope the camera can capture it. I, I think it's looking okay. Yeah. yeah. So let, let's show you the blazing colors one that we were talking about. So that's that's the theme one. So that you see in all the pictures. <laughs> okay. I'm just making sure there. I'm sorry yeah. about moving the camera all yeah. wiggly around, but yeah, uh, that's fine. It reminds me of prisms. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, prism, yeah, yeah. Or, or a kaleidoscopic. Yes, yeah, effect, exactly, yeah. yeah. But the, uh, yeah. Very so nice, you, very you beautiful. You see, you've got to have these contrasting. If you, if this color was another shade of red, the, the, the vigor of the, the contrast and the line there wouldn't kind of be as... Uh, It'd be more vague, yeah. wouldn't it? So when, uh, when you're doing something like this, you have to keep an eye out on making sure that there is a... A, a, a clear contrast that gives it more power. Right. right. Okay. Uh, and uh, this one, uh, this one uh, uh, is from a private collection, and it's brush fire. It's called brush fire. <laughs> so the, there's motion in it. Right. There's lots of color, but you get the feeling. A, there is a sky there, and you know greenery, but it's on fire because yeah. it, and the black is kind of you know when Where it's, it's burnt up. You for see. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the one I was telling you about, the sunny day. Okay. Uh, now, do you want to go through all of them or just No, we'll just get a now? select a few. Right. I want to see your blue ones over here. Oh, here the blue ones. Yes. So this is like uh, the Cape Hatteras. This is an actual place in the eastern... Uh, uh, 
the United States. Okay. And it's, uh, this, uh, it's called Cape Hatteras Dune. All right. And then this, this is from my travels, all right? So this oh, is nice, the Mediterranean yes. cormorants. Uh, my wife and I were actually in, in uh, uh, went on a cruise and we went through the uh, Strait of Gibraltar. And this was, the, you know, from a photo I took there, I uh, added the flowers okay. to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So these, these are Mediterranean plants. Right. And this is maybe more, for, uh, this is a Pacific uh, orcas, and this is kind of from experience. You know, when you go on the ferry here, and you go, they tell you, you sometimes you'll see, see them. Uh, yeah. See them, yeah. That wasn't, the, I didn't see them there from, from the ferry ride we had, but I have seen... Uh, uh, the orcas you know, at a different on other, time on other occasions. Yes, yes. And this is the uh, Grand Canaria seagulls. Right. The, this is from, uh, you know, again on one of our cruises we went to uh, the Tenerife, uh, the, uh, the Grand Cana uh, Canary Islands. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so that. And then, you know, I mentioned that from, you know, Egypt, and this is like Red Sea dolphins. Okay. So these are dolphins uh, from okay. the, in the Red Sea. I would like to look at this one here because it's, yes. it's another one that's very different from... Yeah. So this is Garden of the Gods. It's a, a Garden of the Gods is in Colorado Springs. Okay. Uh, it's a real place with mm -hmm. real... Uh, it's a, this is a bit, again, surrealistic. It's not necessarily, ex you know, trying to exactly... Like right. My son said... Uh, the Garden of the Gods, the you know the uh, the, the hills and mountains are more reddish <laughs> than I have them ah, in okay. the painting. Okay. Uh, but nonetheless, it still gives you the idea. Yeah. That, uh, so what do we have behind here? Anything? Uh, yeah, anything? Well, I know there's something. <laughs> yeah. uh, I like this one. Uh, this is uh, is called Secret Garden. Right. Uh, I like it because I like the colors. Uh, yes. One of the reasons. It, it, and I, I want to show you, like uh, somebody again who came in said, well, what, how do you do this? So I'll just show you my tools quickly. <laughs> uh, like, you know, basically, uh, you know, palette knife, palette knife. Brushes are always important, obviously, yeah, because yeah. you touch up things. Yes. Different shapes of brushes, that's uh, kind of like a square one. I love the, this angled one. It helps, you know, get into, and then there's little curvy things here. Uh, so a lot of knife work. Okay. Uh, but also mostly knife work. But then you have little tools like that. Oh. Where it's like almost like a fork. And yeah. Then I kind of adapted this little brush <laughs> thing. If you pull it, push it the wood up like that, it's it's a little tighter. If you pull it back. It spreads Opens out, it out, yeah, and you get more. Uh, so some of the paint, like this painting here, which is called Northern uh, Northern Lights. Yes. So you know you go. Oh, like that and you get right. Some of that effect. Oh, right. Wow. So. As I said, if you come and see this in person, the, the colors are so brilliant um, that. And you have to come and see it in person, I'm telling you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, obviously I prefer it in person because I'm For the sure, person. yes. Uh, yeah. And then the another thing that I use is, is tape as well to sometimes to make the, the borders oh. here and so on. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and, yeah. All right. To get some lines straight. Yeah. No, um, this one is uh, uh, acrylic. Do you work with You're, acrylic mostly? Yeah, yes, it's all acrylic. Okay. All the paintings here are acrylic. Okay. But I have done watercolor and oil. But as a as a younger person mm -hmm. uh, in my dad's studio when we were kids. Right. Yes. And o o often, you know, I would try it out a little bit. But I've settled in later life on mostly acrylic. Okay. That's yeah. that's what your preference is, yeah, that's right? My preference yeah. Because acrylic is uh, is more versatile. I think it dries more quickly than right. oil. Right. Right. Uh, but it has more structure in it than, let's say, watercolor. Uh, it, so it's kind of in between the watercolor. And, and if you add some, uh, let's say, water or mm -hmm. a little bit more, some kind of medium that helps it thin it out, you can thin it out as well. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so um, let's go have a little s sit down again as yeah. we finish up. And I'll just right. get some of these on camera as yeah. we do that. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you mentioned your son. Yes. So does, is he also a painter? 
uh, an artist? They, they've, 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 they've both done things as young, uh, you know, just tried it out. And my two grandsons actually do a lot of painting in day, well, in daycare, but okay. now my, uh, Ryan, uh, who's six years old now, he's at school. Uh, he's also, and my, my daughter-in-law is really, <coughs> excuse me, very good at uh, making projects with my grandsons. Some of the projects involve a lot of painting and so right, on. Right. So, and they do seem to have like uh, inbuilt talent. Nice. Uh, so I'm very proud of that. Yeah, for uh, sure. My, my, my other two sons are busy making a living. Yeah. Uh, and so like me, when I was uh, younger, I was busy making a living, so I wasn't uh, painting so much. Right, yeah. But I believe they have the talent, both of them, yeah. Very nice. So how does a person get their work here, like get them at an art gallery? In the art gallery here, they apply, and we're okay. actually we're looking. You know, I maybe give a pitch for the uh, Chilliwack Visual Artists Association uh, in the next uh, uh, for the next two years, 20, year 23 and 24. Uh, the c competition is open for artists to to submit uh, everything, and they can get it from the uh, 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 O'Connor Group Art Gallery. Uh, website or, okay. or the CVAA website, the okay. Visual Arts Association, the, the application form and so on. Great, great. And that's what I did uh, over a year, uh, I think about two years ago, I, I applied and uh, I am a member of the association as well, but you have to go through a jury. Right, okay, uh, well that's great. Well, we'll end it there. Yes, so thank, thank you very much. Well, thank you for doing this. I really yeah. appreciate you yeah. allowing me to be, be yeah. here and do it with you. Yeah. And so how about a high five? Yeah, yeah, you bet, <laughs> yeah, you bet. And okay. thank you everybody for watching. I really hope you come down and um, check out your science work. It's really, really beautiful. And, and, and don't forget the reception. One to three next Saturday, uh, July the 9th. And you're going to be here, your work is uh, going to be here again. Remind everybody until when? Yes, uh, until August 6th. So if you and can. I'll, I'll be personally here and many of the uh, you right. know, sittings, so if you want to come and talk to me. That's a bonus, people. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks again, and thank you all for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoy this show and uh, like it and share and, and subscribe and peace out. <laughs> <laughs>